Hey guys, I'm Cara Allegra and you're watching First Bite. Today we're at a Japanese restaurant located at the south of the metro in Westgate, Alabang. Now you might think that this restaurant would be like all the others. But don't be quick to judge because their sushi might just sneak up into your stomach like a ninja. Yo! So Matt, what's the story behind Sushi Ninja? Why Sushi Ninja? Sushi Ninja actually started as a catering company. It was only then when we got good feedback from our clients that we decided that oh, I think this is the time that we, we can open a restaurant. Five years ago, there used to be a really popular game called Fruit Ninja. In the process of playing, I made a mistake calling it Sushi Ninja and it sounded really good. And growing up, I was also a huge fan of the Ninja Turtles. I kind of just put that together and asked people and they said, yeah, it sounds really cool. What makes Sushi Ninja's food distinct from the others? Apart from all the traditional dishes, all of our dishes are original. All of our sauces are homemade and every month we try to create something new to add to our menu. Uh, one of our specialties is uh, a toshi. It's a lightly battered, deep fried uh, sushi ball topped with sometimes spicy tuna, a uh, fusion of whatever food we could put together. Right off the bat, I like how the face presents itself. From the moment I stepped in, I saw wood and bare concrete that really makes that fusion, that balance between traditional and modern. In fact, I really feel like I'm in a ninja's hideout. Having said that though, I think I better keep my eyes open for a ninja or two. Now if you don't mind, I'd really like to get my Japanese on, so let's eat! Our first dish is the Fuji Maki. It's a maki roll with cucumber, grilled salmon, wasabi mayo, topped with crispy salmon skin, and shredded leeks. And from the looks of it, I'm definitely going to love my first bite. I think what I particularly like about it is how the salmon skin it really balances out the softness of the sushi. Sort of like a zen between crispy and soft. Our next dish is called the Sakura Maki. It's a maki roll with salmon, cream cheese, avocado, spicy mayo, and topped with bonita flakes. The bonita flakes are so salty. This definitely beat my expectations. And they're a bit crispy. That when it hits the spicy mayonnaise and the cream cheese, it's, it's just this amazing fusion, really. That's so sweet. The salmon is so thick. It creates this really, really good texture all around. It's like I'm eating a pillow. It's like I'm in a dream, actually. A sushi dream. As Matt said earlier, Sushi Ninja has brought something new to the metro. It's what they call a Toshi Nigiri Sushi. I'm going to start mine off with the Okinawa. The cream cheese with the salmon and the fried batter. It's, it's something totally new to me, actually. And the sauce is sweet. I think I'm going to start ordering fried sushi from now on. And this one is the Asakusa. You have salmon and tuna at the center. And then you have that eel wrapped around it. I think it's really meant to be something that holds the Toshi Nigiri sushi together. Now I'll be trying the Ginza. And this one was the spicy salmon. This one's very soft. And I think that's because of all the spicy salmon on top. And I like how with this, the salmon is not too spicy. I feel like I was swimming in an ocean with this one. It really keeps to its own, especially with the sauce again. Finally, we have the kale, which was the spicy tuna. It's a lot meatier. It's like a manly Toshi Nigiri sushi. The secret sauce is really what brings these dishes together. It's got this kind of sweetness that I really can't put my finger on. So I recommend that you guys come on over and try it only here at Sushi Ninja. This is a stuffed shiitake mushroom drizzled with the secret sauce. The texture of the mushrooms complements the sesame seeds very well. And I like it because it's got the saltiness again, but that's from the batter. And you got these, sem these sesame seeds that contribute to the sweetness of it. I'm gonna try another one. I think it's really nice because you have the texture from the tuna that's flaky. Who would have thought that mushroom and tuna would go so well together? I sure didn't. Our last dish is the spicy tuna salad, which is a staple for Japanese restaurants. So let's see if this dish surprises me just like a ninja. You know how sometimes some Japanese restaurants skip out on the spicy? 
This is definitely spicy. It's so spicy, I love it. The tuna, it's thick, so when you bite into it, this is real chew to it. There's a crunch from the tempura batter. It's great. Definitely surprised me like a ninja. If you're looking for a place to grab a quick bite of sushi, I'd highly recommend this place because of their Tashi. It's a new dish with a unique taste only found here at Sushi Ninja and they've done it perfectly. I'm Kara Legre. Stay tuned to First Bite for the greatest tastes of the metro. Sayonara! Thank you for watching First Bite. If you like this episode, please check out our website, www.firstbite.ph. And don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to all our social networks. They should have a pet turtle. Sorry, I just had to say it. <laughs> That's a pretty good way to start. <laughs> okay. That's it, right? Three, Leaks. Wait. Three, two, one. Oh, sorry. In fact, I really feel like I'm in it.